Hey, hey, I think I'm live, coming to you live from my home office in Chicago. How is everybody on this Tuesday morning? I'm coming to you actually live from my desktop here, so hopefully this um, is working. So as you're popping in, I'm, uh, it's going to be a quick one, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm really just hopping in here. I want to give you a dose of um, reality for today. Um, so make sure you say hi. Um, I will be... Uh, saying hello and then kind of just getting right into it. I have a Denise. Denise, you just got my message, right? Oh my gosh. So Denise is a client of mine. She's amazing. And uh, so we have a call coming up here in like five minutes. That's why I'm speeding right through this. But I messaged her and I'm like, Denise, I'm going to be probably a few minutes late. Um, if you've been a uh, part of my lives, you know that I always have the intentions of being quick, but then, you know, we get in conversation. Anyways, I'm going to make this as fast as possible, but also uh, efficient, right? So what's going on, guys? Hey, Denise. Hi, Dale. Hey, Judy. Um, if you're new to who I am, my name is Julie Burke. I'm the founder of CreateSuccessWithJulie.com, and I really help specialize in um, you know, helping home-based business entrepreneurs bring their business online so they can leverage their time, right? I teach them how to brand, how to utilize social media to shine, um, you know, get more visibility, and also teaching, um, you know, how to silence the inner critics. You know, I talk a lot about um, mindset as well because you guys, 80% of what we do in our business is mindset. I understand most people want to know the tactics, the strategies. Julie, how do I set up a funnel? How do I run a Facebook ad? Um, how do I create a lead magnet? How do I recruit for my network marketing business? Um, how do I close people? How do I make more sales? How do I convert? You know, they always want to know about conversion. And, and I, I will do a Facebook Live talking about the big C coming up conversion because um, that's something that you, it's, it's, it's another one of those tactics that you want to learn, right? But yet, you guys, we, 80% of the time of what holds us up in our business is mindset. Um, so that's what I'm going to be talking about today, how to silence the inner critic, because guess what? We all have it. So um, first of all, can you guys hear me okay? Um, if you could hear me okay, uh, say yes, let me know. Um, if you're new to me, I want you to put new in the comments and let me know where you're tuning in from. I love to hear where people are tuning in from. Like I said, I'm in Chicago. It's freaking freezing here. You guys, like, I'm so over it. It was snowing yesterday. Um, and here's the crazy part. It's supposed to be 70 um, tomorrow. Like crazy, right? All right. Um, if you are new to me, put new in the comments so I could give you a shout out. And of course, if you share... Uh, I'd love to give you a shout out for sharing as well. So, uh, Susan, you can hear me. Great. I see me like moving very slow on the desktop, so I'm going to ignore what I look like on the desktop because it's it's coming in kind of uh, weird, so I want to just make sure that you guys can hear me. Tracy's in the house. Hey, what's up, love? How are you, girlfriend? Hi, Rhonda. Um, all right. So, the inner critic... Um, where does it come from? Well, all of us have it. And if you feel that you have at some point in your life spoke to yourself in a negative way, I want you to drop me an emoji. Like give me a high five emoji. Give me like uh, a crying emoji, whatever you want to give me. Just drop me an emoji to let me know if that is you. So if you have had um, self-doubt, if you've told yourself you're not smart enough, if you told yourself that, you know, you're not successful enough, if you, you know, just all of these things that we tell ourselves. And you guys, I'm putting my hand up with you. Like, I'll put both of my hands up with you because um, that has been me for, like, years, you guys, years, okay? And I find myself as a mom, and this is where I really want to become more conscious of this, and this is where I'm going to get, like, legit, really downright um, honest with you guys. And, and so I know I have a lot of moms that follow me, a lot of moms that are working on developing their business, whether it's their coaching business, their teams, their network marketing team, um, just, you know... This game that we play as entrepreneurs trying to get our business up and running, you guys, it is tough. 
it is like hard work. Am I right? Like it is not easy. And so this is where especially I want you to share this with your girlfriend. You know, if you have a friend in this industry, um, because what I'm going to be talking about is really getting downright honest of where you really need to become conscious and more aware of the inner critic. Because what I see happening is that I'm trickling it over into my children. And I'm just being honest. And here's what I mean. So sometimes I find that I could be really short with my kids. And I'm, I'm going to try and not get emotional here. Um, because I've come from a place, you guys, um, living with a mom that wanted everything perfect when I was growing up. And I love my mom. My mom's a beautiful woman. She's given me an amazing life. But yet, she came from perfection herself. Okay? And so, what I mean is, if I see my kids' beds not made correctly, I get mad. If I they spill milk in the floor, I get mad. And I have to stop and take a step back and be like, oh my gosh, because it's sometimes I'm like, what are you doing? Like, stop acting like an idiot. And you guys, that's not, I, I know that's not right. But in the heat of the moment, when your kids are acting up and they go and they're spilling milk or they're doing this and doing that, I'm, I'm shaming them. And I'm realizing that I'm shaming them. And I'm not, what I need to be more conscious of is the words that I speak to them is something that's being programmed in their brain. They're being programmed, their character is, is being a, assassinated basically like I'm blaming them I'm shaming them and it's like the worst thing you can do because then this is where it develops from such a young age where we have this negative self-talk right so I'm becoming more conscious of this if I'm having a bad day if they're driving me crazy because I'm trying to get business done I can't be shaming them if they're doing something that they're not supposed to be doing. You guys, does this make sense? Because this is where the inner critic starts. It starts when we're adolescents. Like, it starts when we're younger. And I'm sure at some point in my life, because my mom wanted everything perfect, this is where I got programmed in my brain. And then that stemmed into, I'm not good enough, I'm not smart enough um, to go to college. You know, I got a horrible score on my ECT because I just blew it off because I thought I was in college material. Like, I kept telling myself this story. Um, and so, again, going back to the inner critic of now where um, I've had to do a lot of work, you guys, like a lot of self-development work. Have you, do you feel or are you doing your own personal development work? If you are, drop me a one. Like, if this is making sense. Drop me a one. If you've had to do your own personal development work um, because you realize that you are being held back by the negative self-talk, drop me a one and let me know. Okay. So the inner critic's influence is really powerful. Okay. It's crushing our self-confidence. It's crushing our, um, it's blocking the creativity. It's literally trapping us in relationships and in careers. It's almost like an abusive relationship that stops us from allowing us to follow our heart's desires, our dreams. And it can pull out depression. It has pulled out depression in me. It has pulled out low energy in me. Um, it has pulled out anxiety. It has pulled out me acting reactive in my business instead of proactive, meaning Let's Julie just let Julie just do like 500 things at one time because I felt like I needed to do that to be successful. You guys, does that make sense? Okay, so we walk through our days with toxic messages that we we feed ourselves, and I I I I identified some of them. Right, um, I'm not smart enough. I'm not worth having that success. Um, maybe it is the fear of failure. Maybe it's the fear of success. Maybe it's because people put us down our whole life or they call us stupid or they, you know, they, they told us this. Um, and so trying new things out is one thing that I recommend. Trying out new things and growing and stretching yourself can lead, um, will lead you into unfamiliar territory. However, your brain, yes, translates that into being unsafe, right? 
And so you're going to hit resistance. But I'm going to tell you something right now. Every time I push past resistance, every time I had fear and I crushed it, every time I walked up on a stage to give a presentation in front of up to over a thousand people, um, where my heart was coming out of my chest, I wanted to puke, I had sweat like in buckets coming out of my armpits, like I'm not even joking, I needed to take a shower. Um, your, your, your ego, your fear, whatever you want to call it, will try and protect you. But every time you grow yourself a little bit, and I'm not telling you to go stand on a stage in front of a thousand people, but just a little bit, maybe it's doing the Facebook Live, right? Whatever it might be, um, you will start to build up that confidence. You will start to take a toe out of the box, and then the foot will come out of the box, and then your ankle comes out of the box. Do you guys understand? Like, we have this comfort zone, we want to live in this box, and we live with those negative beliefs and those toxic thoughts. But yet if we can make the shift in our mind and say, no, my dreams are worth having, my desires are worth having and just taking a foot and taking one inch towards those dreams and those inner desires, um, you will, you will push past the resistance and you will feel a little bit stronger, 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 a little bit stronger. And you guys, this is what I've done in my career. This is what I've done the past six years since I started in network marketing to where I didn't even know what the heck network marketing was to then starting in network marketing to having my best friends laugh at me and talk down on me about network marketing to then me deciding that, you know what, I'm going to become a true professional of this profession and understand network marketing because I didn't know what it was. And how do you really build a big business if you don't know what something is, right? You have to build that foundation. You want to learn the skill sets. To then growing multiple six figures, to then making seven figures in network marketing, to then starting, starting my own online marketing business two years ago where I knew nothing. And part of online marketing, if you want to build your business online, is guess what, guys? It's putting yourself out there, and it's really flipping scary. So I had fear hold me back. I had the voices in my head hold me back. What are people going to say? What are people going to think, right? And guess what? I started doing the Facebook Lives. I started taking this step out of the box, one step at a time, inch by inch by inch. And I pushed past resistance to the point of where I almost became like unstoppable. You guys, does this make sense? Does this, is this, uh, if this is making sense, give me some hearts. Okay. I love the hearts. Keep the hearts coming. Now, you need to be strong enough to call your inner critics BS. Okay. Cause that's what it is. It's total bullshit. Right. So call it out now. All right. The one thing I hate seeing is when I am talking with my clients, my students, and they are holding themselves back because, and I get it, I can relate. However, I know that we can overcome it. I know this for a fact because I have. And I'm not saying every day is perfect. I'm not saying that I have days where I don't like maybe have a down day. It's not like Julie wakes up every day in like a perfect mood. Even though I did have my Facebook ads manager tell me that I need to wake up and dance every morning before the kids get up. Um, she does this every single morning and she says it sets her day up for success. And so I just need to get up early enough and make the decision to get up early enough and start dancing every morning because believe it or not, she says it works. So just a little tip for y'all, you, all of you here. All right. So when you start bullying yourself with your own thoughts, um, here are five five simple ways to answer yourself back. So if you have a pen and paper, write these down. If you're on the replay, go grab a pen and paper and write it down. If you're on here live and you don't have pen and paper, just come back and watch uh, th this part of it, okay? So when you're having the negative thoughts and bullying yourself, this is what you say. You say, so what? So what? So, so what if you think that? What does this mean? So here's the thing. You're saying it to yourself. So if I'm saying, Julie, you're not, um, you're not worth being up on that stage, I say to myself, so what? So what if you think that? Who cares? I believe I can be. I believe I can be on that stage one day, right? The other second one is who cares, all right? 
Um, so if you think that your judgments mean something to me, they don't. Your judgments don't mean anything to me. They, I'm not giving power to the negative self-talk anymore. So who cares? Number three, big deal. Big effing deal. Who cares, right? It goes back to who, who cares, the so what. Number four, um, why not? Why not me? Right? Why not me? Write that down. Why not me? You are no different than the person next to you. So why not? Right? Why not? I'm going to continue to do it anyways. Why not? My dreams are just as important as yours. Who cares? Right? So write that down. Number five, um, what if it doesn't matter that I'm blank or not? What if it doesn't matter that I'm not making a million dollars a year or not? I still have a voice. I still have opinions. My words still matter. Do you guys understand this? So those are the five things you write down. Now, guess what? You write them down. And then after that, I want you to write down every single negative thought and belief that you have on a piece of paper with your dominant hand, okay? I want you to write it down. And then I want you to take that paper with your non-dominant hand, and I want you to take it and fold it up, and I want you to put it in a box and put it away, okay? And you do that every single time you have a negative thought, period. These are just really simple ways, believe it or not. These are things that I have done in the past where I've had to write down and answer those questions. Okay, so writing down every single negative belief you have about yourself, put it in a box, fold it up, put it away, read it out loud, read it out loud, and then I want you to then take a piece of paper and I want you to shift those thoughts in the I am. And then just repeat that to yourself every single day. I am strong, I am smart, I am worth it, I am capable. I am courageous, right? I have dreams, okay? And write it down. So that is what I have for you guys today. I do have to hop off real quick before I go. I hope you found value in this, you guys. Please share if you did. Um, I appreciate you sharing because I feel that most often, especially for women, we can get in co comparison mode. We can look at somebody that we know is very successful and say, oh my gosh, well, you know, she looks so put together. And you guys, it, that's not necessarily the case. <laughs> you know, even successful people, there are many successful people I know that are making seven figures that are so unhappy. There are many people that I know that um, are, you know, very successful in what they're doing, but yet they still have their own inner critic. So don't compare. But I know as, as, uh, you know, female entrepreneurs, we can do that. Well, how come it, it seems so effortless for her? How come it seems so easy for her? How come she seems like she has it all put together? What is she, what is she doing that I'm not seeing or I'm not doing? So that's, um, that's where I'm saying, like, I feel like we're all in this game together and I hope you guys feel the same way. And if you do, um, you know, please drop me an emoji, let me know or say yes, because um, I feel for sure that we are all in this game together. You know what? Drop me a heart. Drop me a heart if you feel that way. Drop me the heart emoji because, again, this is where I go back to rising up together. It's like one of my hashtags, rise up together. Um, it's not something that I, I love to see people create success in their own life, whatever it looks like for you. Success for me doesn't look like maybe success for you or the next person. It's whatever your own definition of success is. And so I'm going to be starting a membership community. I don't know. Uh, some of you might have already know. I, I have a waiting list for it. I'm putting it together. I'm actually um, toying around with some names right now. <laughs> and so I might pop in here and ask, uh, do a poll of opinions. This community will only be, will only, I have men on the waiting list. I'm sorry, guys. I've got to kick you off. It's only for female entrepreneurs around the world coming together and really, um, you know, just bringing out the best of each other. And um, yes, I will teach you strategies and tactics and all the fun stuff, but I'm also going to be doing some mindset stuff, bringing in guest experts, um, giving assignments, doing giveaways. I just finished up my five week boot camp for my branding boot camp. It was awesome. I saw some people have, some of my students have major shifts in 
even the first couple weeks. And so I'm giving away a, um, and we did a little um, Facebook live challenge and I'm giving away a, uh, a ring light today actually. So I'm super excited. I love giveaways. I'll be doing a giveaway every month inside my membership community. I'll be um, doing a Q and A. I'll, you know, it's just a way to be able to um, have more access to me as well as have me uh, teach you as well as some of my top, uh, top expert influencer friends out there that I'm going to bring into the community as well and give you some training. So I'm really excited about it. This is something I've been wanting to do for a long time and it's going to be my hub, our hub, like just a really tight knit community where um, it's safe. It's safe, especially for us female entrepreneurs out there that feel like we're getting beat up at, sometimes in our business. So um, I need help with some names. I'm tossing around uh, momentum. I'm tossing around fierce entrepreneurs. I'm tossing around a couple things. I don't know. I don't want to put too much highlight on it because I swear to God, when I name things, I feel like it could hold me up forever because the name. The name. Um, anyways, if you have any thoughts, I would love to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment below if you have a thought for a name. Um, I'm totally open at this point. Uh, but I'm I'm planning on rolling it out in May. So stay tuned. If you want to get on the list, write list below, and I'll make sure to get you on the waiting list to get inside the community. We'll send you uh, an email once it goes live. And um, we're talking like a very low price monthly cost right now to be able to gain access uh, at a um, a, a like introductory price. So super excited about it. Listen, I got to hop off. I got to get on the zoom call with, uh, Denise. I appreciate all of you guys being here and sharing. Um, thank you for all the hearts guys. I look forward to seeing you on the next training. Bye.